Hi YouTube, Matt from Adventure Sport, and I just wanted to take a minute today to explain how the user interface in Adventure Sport brand products works. Now, it's pretty simple to do, and the first thing I want to show you is all that you'll ever need to know about it. Uh, this is one of our pocket lights, and I've already got the battery installed, and so you just click the tail cap, and it comes on. If you need more light than that, you bump it to the next one. It started low, medium. If you want more, you bump it to the next one. That's high. When you're done, shut it off. The default setting for this is three mode, just like you saw. And if you are not into other things and gadgets and advanced whatever, you wouldn't ever know that this light could do any of that unless you just happen to read it on the website. That's all you're ever going to need to do. The next time you pick this light up, it's going to be in the mode you left it on. In this case, that's high. Now, if you happen to like uh, special functions or you want a five mode, five brightness levels, or you happen to want a strobe or something like that, uh, there's 24 different mode groups that you can choose from that are programmed into this light. And like I said, you're not going to ever get into those unless you decide, hey, I want to get into those. So what you need to do is you can just look on the website and there's a whole list of all of the different groups and what they can do. And if you wanted to get into those, uh, what you do is this. You, you kick the light on. And while well, you figure out which group you want to be in, uh, let's say we wanted to have um, a four mode. Say we wanted to have a strobe, a four mode. You find what group looks appealing to you. In this case, we're going to use group four. It's uh, low, medium, high, strobe, no memory. So this, like you saw here, this one memorized it. This next one won't. It'll always start on low. So any, I, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and the light begins to flash. And so you go one, two, three, four. Just then it acknowledged the group change. That's it, now we're in the new group. Now, whenever we turn this light on, it will be in that group. And since we this one doesn't have a memory, remember we said no memory for this one, it'll always come on in low. So I can jump up and there's my strobe and I'll shut it off in strobe and it's not going to memorize that in this particular group. The next time we turn it on, we're going to get low. So that, that right there is basically how this operates. And there's some other things you can do with it. You can set uh, a turbo timer. If, you know, a light like this, this, is a, this happens to be a thousand lumens, which is a lot for a tiny light. And if you don't want to, if you don't want it to get warm, if you don't want it to ever get hot, you can go through and you can set the turbo timer. Basically, all you do is you turn your light back on, and you cycle the eight fast clicks until you get into the programming function again. Only this time, instead of going one, two, three, four, or five, or whatever to get to that group, to go all the way down to where the turbo timer sets, you do thirty clicks. Okay. Once you enter that mode, the light will flash and it, it, it jumps to high is what it does and it starts counting. You just hold on to your light and you wait until it gets as hot as you ever want it to get and then you shut it off. And that duration of time is always how long it will be permitted to stay on turbo. What happens then is when you hit that one minute mark or two minute mark, whatever you set it at, uh, the light reduces gradually down to 50% power so you can still keep it on and that's how we get burst mode and some of the really really high powered lights and still protect them in case in case somebody besides you gets a hold of it typically you know if people that have kids or whoever might play with their stuff so we're gonna go ahead and set the turbo timer on this one so you go on and then one two three four five six seven eight and we're in the programming one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five six seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty and we jump to high so it's acknowledging hey this is 
This is the turbo timer setting. Now you just wait until you want, you feel like, hey, it's time to shut that down and turn it off. And now it memorized that length of time. It's not a temperature sensor, but it's basically the equivalent of it in, in this scenario. So now what will happen is the next time you go to your high mode or your burst mode, the light will run for whatever amount of time you set it at. Now we only set it for a few seconds on this one and it's actually already starting to ramp down but it's really really a gradual thing it's still going to be quite powerful you know you'll feel a difference in the long term but you won't uh, you probably won't even notice when it kicks down because visually 50% is very very close to the maximum output now if you're using one of the uh, super bulbs, the Maglite drop-in, I have the 6D bulb here running on the 226650s, and it has the same user interface, but it operates just a little bit different because uh, this smaller light has what's called a reverse clicky, and that's what this user interface was really designed for, and it functions just a little bit different in the mag light because it has a forward clicky which just means that um, this light it comes on when you let go of the switch this light comes on when you start pressing the switch okay and it's basically the same operation but we're gonna go ahead and do it real quick just so you can see what you have to do is since you have to start from the on position to get this to work is you just lightly press you don't click it you just lightly press this till it comes in and you do your eight fast clicks ending with the light being on you go one two three four five six seven eight see we're in programming mode one two three four Okay, it acknowledged that we did that, so now we should have low, medium, high strobe. And there you go. Wow, okay. I hope this sheds some light on things for you, and uh, this is Matt Smith saying good lucks.